Joining me right now is the United Refining Company Chairman and CEO, John Katsimatidis. He is also the President, uh, Chairman, and CEO of Gristidis Grocery and D'Agostino Foods and the Red Apple Group. John, it's great to see you. Thanks very much for being here. You are uh, wonderful to join me to talk a little about these issues because we're talking about the disruptions in the supply chains and inflation being real issues. What are you seeing from your standpoint in, in regards to both of those issues? You know, Maria, we're both in the oil business and we're in the food business. So I see all ends of the uh, of the, the chain. And uh, with 80, almost $84 oil this morning, uh, it's not, uh, we're going to see $100 oil, it looks like. Uh, it, it, there's no sign of it stopping. And uh, you know how CEOs are on Wall Street. Uh, they go, they live quarter by quarter. Uh, if they're off by a penny in earnings, Wall Street is not forgiven. So what are the CEOs doing? They're raising prices. They want to be ahead of the curve. So whatever's going on, uh, I see food prices going up tremendously. They want to be ahead of the curve. And the way they're doing it is they're, they're dropping all promotions. They are dropping low uh, moving items. In other words, if you have uh, 10 different uh, types of, uh, uh, of muffins, they're only going to sell the top three. And the same thing with Nabisco and the same thing uh, with uh, Pepsi and Coke. They're not going to, they're not going to carry... Uh, uh, Cherry Pepsi, maybe, or anything like that. They're going to they're gonna drop all promotions. They're going to uh, uh, have their main products, and uh, uh, prices are going up. They're going up faster than uh, anybody expected. Uh, it's a little bit out of control yeah. because nobody wants to be, how do they say it, behind the curve. And uh, I'm yeah. concerned people are paying more. Yeah, I mean, I've got some graphics here that show double-digit moves in certainly oil and fuel, for sure, but also chicken, eggs, meat. What kind of um, increases at the cash register are you seeing for groceries that impact all of us, John? And do you think this is uh, going into 2022? I, that, uh, I mean, this is not going to reverse course anytime soon, right? I know it's not going to reverse anytime soon. Uh, I, I see over 10 percent in the last in the next 60 days, and uh, it's going to happen. And nobody, none of the CEOs, you know, the, people say we're going to raise the we're going to raise the taxes only on corporations. I mean, that is dumber than uh, dog doo doo. I mean, the corporations are just going to pass it on to the consumer. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I mean, a, a number of congressmen have already said to me, look. You know, they've already breached their promise that they're not going to impact anybody $400,000 in income because they have to pay for this plan and they don't have the offsets. But I want to get back to something you said about oil, because the average price for a gallon of gasoline at $3.33 today, President Biden is scrambling to say that he wants the price lowered. He's looking for OPEC to do something and the frackers to do something. Um, even after, you know, in first day one, when he stepped into the White House, he killed the XL pipeline. Uh, on October 28th, you've got big oil CEOs, six oil CEOs testifying on Capitol Hill. And I spoke with Ro Khanna this weekend, congressman from California. It's his committee, and he said he wants the truth. He wants to know if those people, those oil CEOs, are, are not giving us the truth when it comes to fossil fuels. What are your thoughts on the price of oil, where this goes, and what we might hear from CEOs of oil companies? I don't think it's, any, it's up to any particular CEO. I think it's up to... Uh... Uh, what's happening? It started with President Biden uh, killing the Keystone Pipeline, and uh, it just started uh, barreling down the road. Uh, uh, OPEC, uh, Russia, OPEC is making more money than ever before. Uh, we went from 13 and a half million barrels a day in the United States down to 11 and a half. Now we're buying 840,000 barrels a day from Russia, not at $40 a barrel, at $84 a barrel. I mean, wow. Putin is laughing yeah. all the way to the bank uh, at, uh, yeah. at the White House. Yeah. And well, OPEC is so making more money than their than they can adversaries. Count. 
Yeah, real quick, John, before you go, when you look at store shelves, when you get look at the supply, are are you struggling to keep the, the, the products on the shelves as we see that uh, complete ship show uh, underway in the uh, in the Pacific with a lineup of 60 ships? Well, there, there are struggles in a lot of products, uh, like uh, Procter & Gamble is having a lot of problems uh, keeping Charmin and, and Bounty uh, on the shelves, uh, especially in the suburbs and the inner city. Uh, and like I said, uh, promotions are down to zero. Why give away something when you don't have to give it away and you make more margin? So I yeah. predict that uh, well, these companies are going to have record uh, profits in the third quarter. All right, John, great to talk with you this morning. Thanks so much for weighing in on all of that. John Katsimatidis, we'll talk soon.